all this work is about women and poverty. That woman was in Pakistan. She was in an area where all the diplomats' houses were there, and she was begging in a very affluent street. The girl behind you, she was in the slum. The photographer who took the picture saw this little girl carrying the stove. She went out and bought loads of toys and brought back to the slum and gave them the toys to these children who came running. You know. And the woman behind you, I mean, taken by a photographer who found this walking in the street. And I think she's pregnant, she got a baby, possibly dead, and she's got a young kid holding in their hand, you know, walking in the streets. I mean, I mean, like the girl behind you, she she's 19. She already lost about two babies. And, and she got this young kid. And she ran away from home. A gypsy princess. They were talking about in Rajasthan, where this family, this group of tribes, had sort of a, a regal background. And she's supposed to be some princess. But she was so poor, sitting in the street. Okay. It's a wall in India, somebody's wall somewhere. It's a photograph of it, a child wall. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it shows the contrast of the girl and the colors background and everything else. The texture I use, everything, it's something which I inherited, my Indian culture. So that's how I was taught by my mom. My work mainly started from photographs. I took this picture in Hungary last year, and um, this is in a market where the old ladies were shopping, uh, selling their own goods and stuff. Um, the main little people were indigo, hand dyed, printed, and black cardigans. That's what they mostly wore. When I started my work, I was using recycled fabrics for the background and for the artwork. And I still use recycled fabric on the figures. The best clothes you get is in the cherry dish. <laughs> but the funny thing is, the women ask me, oh, it's very nice, do you like it? Are you going to wear it? And I'm saying, oh, no, I'm going to cut them. <laughs> <laughs> and the background I moved on from using, they were Hungarian sacks to use as a background because they're linen and they have good texture to put the work on, it holds well. And the applique is something which I learned so I try to applicate on, on faces. I take the photographs and then I digitally manipulate them. And, and then when I manipulate the photograph, they give the light and the shade. Then I use applique on them. And then I stitch according to the color. So it gives the light and the shade of the figure as everybody knows. Many people ask me, why don't you stitch the clothing? Uh, instead of, like, you stitch the face, stitch the body, the clothes. I said, well, it would be like everybody else's work if I did that. I want to do something totally different. So I could stitch because my mom was an embroiderer, so I learned from how to stitch. But also my two years background in life drawing did help me with the drawings and uh, getting the light and shade and figures and everything. When I go through the face, stitch them, and then do the hair lines. And then when I finish them, I put them together in a large piece of fabric, like a jigsaw puzzle, I fit them in. And then once I've done everything, then I cut them out and put them in a larger piece of fabric and cut this around and then put them on the base and stitch them to the base fabric. I, I really like my work. And I really like people to understand the meaning goes beyond my work. It's about poverty and People that are still suffering, these are real living people. If you see a photograph, how many people pick up a photograph and show the whole world, say, look at this? But the art speaks a lot. You know, this work has gone to America and back and all around. How many people have seen this work? Quite a lot. That's my work and that's uh, my compassion. And I, I feel really sad for these people who have to suffer for nothing, you know. Thank you.